come back in the kitchen and get a chef record a cooking show guys amazing to be in the kitchen anyway i'm going to be giving you a quick and simple curry to make at home because the time is moving fast everything is just going on you know what i mean so many things going on so you have to just have a move with the time you know what i mean but if you're at work or wherever you are you know what i mean i want to say just be careful and look after yourself if you're not working stay at home all right anyway just guidance and rules and protection we have to just work with what's going on at the moment we're going to do a quick and simple curry chicken today i'm going to be using dice curry chicken breast Hopefully you guys like the recipe. Please subscribe, leave a comment in the description box. My name is Chef Ricardo. I always give you the best recipe in this whole entire world. So stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. Watch this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Nice and lovely. So basically, as I said before, I don't have certain kind of ingredients, but we still have to carry on with the pot. So this is a nice chicken breast right here. I'm gonna give you a twist on it. Now, I'm gonna be using my natural blending season. My natural blending season, honestly guys, is fantastic and amazing. You got everything in it. You got garlic and thyme. Uh, so we're gonna put a teaspoon of it. That's the first thing we're going to do. Let's put a little bit more, all right? Not much, so a tiny bit more. And simple give it a lovely little mix that's all I want to do all right what I'm going to do right now is simple go through some details with you guys all right right over here I have some Chicken season and half pepper season mixed together. I'm gonna put a teaspoon. All right. Secondly, I'm going to be using this is a Caribbean curry powder, which I'm going to be using. All right. I'm gonna put roughly about a teaspoon of it. Should I measure? Yes. Measure it. That's so guys can see. I'm using a teaspoon. All right. One. Two, just two teaspoon is enough. Now over, now go over more. All right. Now go over more. So that's looking really good. We're gonna put a little bit of garlic powder. Still gonna bring in the flavor. Don't worry yourself. Pinch of pepper. Give it a mix. Still looking good. Now I have some fresh turmeric. Turmeric, right here. This is a fresh one. All right. If you don't want to use a fresh one, what you can do is use the grounded powder one. But I might put a little bit of the grounded powder one on it. And a piece of the fresh one, all right. Nice one, that's the fresh one. Let's add a piece of the organic ginger, not much, just a tiny pinch of the organic ginger. And we don't want to overdo it, you know what I mean? Now, I got a medium sized white onion. What I'm going to do is cut up the white onion, chop it straight inside of it. And now I'm going to be using, this is some leek, I'm going to put some leek in it. All 
Alright, simple. Give it a lovely mix. Because I'm not using a lot of chicken. If you notice, I'm just using a little bit of chicken, guys, honestly. So we're going to put some carrot. Leak is strong. Wow. Lovely. So what we're going to do right at the moment is cut it up with carrot. I'm gonna put some organic potato in it. So basically, I use four of the organic potato inside of it. All right, it's kind of simple. A lovely mix. All right. That is beautiful and nice. All right. But miss, let me say, guys, to be honest, this recipe is a. Uh, uh, fantastic and lovely recipe you guys and it's so easy to be prepared you know what I mean so what I'm going to do is allow this to soak for about 15 minutes all right in that 15 minutes we make this gonna soak we're going to you know what I mean prepare some rice we're gonna serve it some rice all right and as you can see for yourself that looking fantastic and an amazing this is like I don't know you know what I mean this is just a nice and lovely recipe I use mostly potato and, and some vegetables some, some carrot inside of it you know lovely curry chicken guys honestly all right so what I'm gonna do now is leave this for make it go and soak you know what I mean? Normally, I'll prepare it from overnight and get it ready. But, you know what I mean? I just want to show you what you can do. If you are at work and you come home and you want to do something quickly, all right? So this is just a simple and quick recipe for you to just do at home. Nothing complicated. Easy and simple recipe, guys. So stay tuned. Don't go anywhere and watch this video. Nice and lovely. So right over here, I have some basmatic rice. Right. To be honest, I didn't count too much cups I used, probably roughly about four and a half cups of rice. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to wash off the rice. Now, I'm going to wash off the rice and put it on and make it go and cook in the meantime. Nice and lovely. So this is the rice which I just wash. Right. Just going to put a little bit of sea salt. And a little bit of black pepper. To be honest, all I need to do is give it a spin. Not only that, you see this rice? It's very easy to cook. This is some basmatic rice, and I have just have a little bit of water over of it. You don't need no oil and no butter, no sugar, no vanilla, no spices or nothing. Just leave it like that, plain. If you want to season it up, you can season it up, but. Me personally, I just leave it like this and cook it. Now I'm gonna cook this for about 25 minutes. It will take, all right? Now I'm gonna be starting my curry. Nice. This is my medium sized pot for my curry chicken today. And I'm gonna, gonna, gonna simply give you a little bit of tips and ideas, all right? Just put a, roughly about a teaspoon of oil in the frying pan like that. Don't put too much oil, all right? Secondly, Just gonna put a little bit of the curry powder we used before. I'm 
I'm gonna put three pimenta seed. See that? Look at that. Nice and lovely. No hesitate. Turn on your stove a little bit low. Don't turn it up too high. Put in that beautiful curry. Give you a little secret. You don't have to, but me personally like to do this. Just tip a little bit of liquid. Not much. That doesn't stick. What we're going to do? We're going to be covering it, and what we're going to do? We're going to leave it for it to keep sweat. In between it, we're gonna keep stirring it. Now and then, you take it off, give it a little stir, you know, and free up the pot. Or a nice little shape. Like this nice curry chicken. Enjoy the recipe as we goes on. Nice and lovely, guys. And basically, I just come across some fresh thyme I have in my freezer. <laughs> Alright, so good look, good sign that. Alright, I'm gonna love cook with my time, you know? Yeah. So that look nice? Yeah. Proper. Now, I got some. This is, you can use chicken stock, you can use veg stock. I love to use veg stock. We're gonna put some veg stock in it, that's one. That's two. Alright, remember I told you before, in the meantime, you just keep, just keep storing it, you know what I mean? Once you have your medium sized heat. So, could give you a little bit of liquid, but it doesn't give me, so what we're going to do? Just had a little bit of water, not much. You know what I mean? Just to get a nice little sauce for it, you know? Because I'm not cooking a whole lot of food, I'm just cooking a little bit of food. You know? Look at that. Just a little bit more water. And we are good to go. Smell lovely and nice, honestly. This is miraculous. it so or so far or in taste so far you know bloody hell too much salt man <laughs> I wanna I man don't like salt so what we're going to do after cut out the salt let's add a little bit more liquid The veg stock, you have to be careful with the veg stock. So, basically, use one veg stock. You know, uh, veg stock is a little bit, you know, and I like salt, you know. Taste again, I see something. Yeah. Not too bad, but <laughs> a little bit more water to kill it. So have to be careful with the one more taste. 
Mm. Yeah, that's perfect. So what we're going to do, we're going to allow it making cook for about 15 minutes. All right, enjoy that. Lovely and nice. Nice and lovely, so that's the rice. Look at that, lovely and nice. So the rice come out lovely. It's a little bit, to be honest, it's, a, it's a too much in it, but it's cooked nicely. Cook nice, nah, no, I don't talk. Let's taste it. Mm-hmm. Perfect. Right, that's the rice done and dusted. Nice and lovely guys, so basically, this is it right here. I don't need to go any further with it. I hate that. It's cooked down really lovely. Simple and nice. So, without a doubt or any further or anything, I just want to say, enjoy the recipe. And um, this is just a quick, simple, nice curry chicken breast. Enjoy it. Now I'm going to shear it up. I make you guys can see what I'm gonna make a little bit of salsa to go with it. So stay tuned. The chef got up. The rice has finished, and this is finished. Nice and lovely. So basically, I'm just gonna make a simple little bit of salsa. So right here, I have roughly about half of a celery stick. I'm gonna simple cut it down. instead of it we're going to use about half of a white onion and just cut it up very finely Now I'm going to simply use a medium sized tomato. Very simple and easy guys, not too, too complicated right here, so, alright? As you can see it for yourself. This is just lovely and an amazing. using about half of a cucumber A 
now I'm going to simply use a cube of garlic, which is will makes a difference. One cube of garlic. Let's give it a little mix. There's nothing too much you know what I mean about this recipe. Just a simple one which I decide to share with you guys, you know. You can put lime juice in it if you want. Lots of stuff can go in it. But I just use what I have at the moment to make it up, alright? Just a little simple little salsa. Nothing too complicated. Now it's time to dish up our lovely food. We've got the rice and also we have some this is a chicken. That is just lovely and amazing. Mm. Really fantastic and lovely. Look at that. That is exactly what we call a quick dinner. So easy, simple, nice and delicious. That's exactly what we're talking about. Thank you so much for watching Chef Ricardo Show. We've got a lot more recipes and a lot more ideas will be coming from Chef Ricardo and the team. And I will see you next time in the kitchen with more recipe like this, guys. Just amazing. Beautiful, nice, and simple to make. Stay tuned. As I said, a lot more recipe coming. Beautiful one. Look at that. We got. Curry chicken, sauce.